They said that I couldn't speak too loud because I am a girl and girls are quiet and proper. We should be like holograms. You can see through us and touch us in any way and we should fizz back into shape. You can even use your fists, throw a chair if you wish. They said that I could never walk the streets at night. I can't even run barefoot on the grass at dawn. Fetch the post outside the yard on the lawn because when I bend down to pick it up, these greedy guzzlers will lick their lips and try their luck. They said that I could only wear this dress, yes. It's perfectly long and look at how it swirls as I spin around, ready to scream. It has little red splatters, what does it matter? You know boys and their toys, they bend us until we're broken. Cover our mouths and shout liar when our truth is spoken. They said that we could practice by playing house. Stay at home while dad went out. They left out the part of the game where he's spitting rage and throwing plates. He's flipping the TV screen. Make sure the dishes are clean. You don't want to give him a reason to be so mean. They said that no one would believe her, shaking with flesh under her nails and bite marks on her skin. Well, where have you been? Have you been drinking? Like what she was wearing could change what he was thinking. She's just a loud woman. We woo men and you'd rather blame the victim. This piece titled Victim addresses a major problem that we have with the patriarchal society that we live in today. It starts off small in our homes. Little girls are taught to cover up when around men and boys. They are taught to sit a certain way and to act a certain way because they are girls and this is just how it is and how it has always been. Then they grow up and they're taught not to provoke men and to always check their back seat before getting into their car, to share their location with friends when they go out and to maybe try and learn some self-defense, just in case. All these precautions are so that women don't get raped, assaulted, abducted or killed. Women should not have to take these countless precautions just to stay alive and safe. And when they're attacked, they should not have to ask invade answer invasive questions like what, what were you wearing or well did you go there alone these questions excuse the actions of perpetrators and give them a loophole victim blaming gives the impression that one what men do to women is completely natural and that women are just overreacting apart from that domestic violence in households carry the same theme many times the question what did she do to make him act like that is asked this excuses the abuser's actions and in turn makes the victim feel like they somehow deserved the violence and mistreatment. This needs to end. We need to teach young boys about consent and that violence is never an option. We need to stop allowing misogynists to lead our countries. We need men to step up and to make the effort to change and educate themselves. We need them to realize that they are not entitled to a woman's body. The names of perpetrators should be known and our justice systems need to improve so that no abuser walks our streets freely while the victim lives in fear and shame. Lastly, we need to stop blaming victims and women because they are not the problem. The only person to blame is the aggressor and the society that stands behind him. The time for trying not to offend anyone or trying to sugarcoat these situations is long gone we need to take steps to eradicate femicide and gender-based violence all over the world. We need to act now so that women can for the first time feel safe in their own countries and in their own homes.